Hey guys, this is Richard here from Straight to the Biscuits. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a one point track in Nuke and then apply this tracking data to a roto shape so that it tracks through with the image. So the first thing we're going to want to do is bring in our clip and then make sure our project settings match the resolution and the frame rate of the clip. Then we just need to bring in a tracker node and then position the tracker on a high contrast area on the clip. Because this clip is only tracking from side to side, I can reduce the search region's height and just extend the width out so it only looks left and right. Then, once you're happy with your track points, if you hit the track forwards button, Nuke will track the clip. Once that's completed, if you go to the Transform tab in the Tracker node and hit the drop down menu and select Stabilize, you can check how good your track was. Once you're happy that your track is working, bring in a roto node and then you can start to draw your rotor shape around the area that you want to rotoscope. When you finish your roto, head back to your tracker settings and go to the transform tab. Click the drop down menu again and then select match move one point, making sure to set the reference frame to the same frame that you drew your roto shape on. The next step involves copying this tracking data over to the roto shape. To do this, right click the box to the right of the translate information on the tracker node, click copy and then copy animation. Then head back down to your roto node, click on the transform tab and then select the root layer that your roto shape is in. Then using the same box to the right of the translate on the roto node, right click and paste the information that you've just copied. You can then do the same for the center information from the tracker node. If you then scrub through your clip, you can see that your roto shape is sticking to the clip. Then all you need to do is check through the clip and see where the roto shape is sliding and adjust the roto shape accordingly. This has been a quick tutorial on how to do a one point track in Nuke and then apply this tracking data to a roto shape. If you'd like to see more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at www.straighttothebiscuits.com.